from a $65,000 investment. Now, all these cash accounts that you're seeing are illustrated at 7%. Over the last 40 years, these policies across the board with all the carriers combined average just shy of 8%. When we designed these, we stress test them at just over 4%. Now, the S&P doesn't do 4%. Can't think of any period of time that it consistently did do 4%, but our typical firm stance is that we won't sell a policy that can't survive 30 consecutive years at 4%. Hardly any other firm does that. The carrier on this particular one, over the last 10 years, their policies have performed around 8.8%. So, now I'm asking you in the studio audience, if money wasn't an object, which of these options would you hate the most? One save that budget get the 30-year term coverage on herself for a quarter million dollars and put a twenty-five thousand dollar child term rider on her daughter for another ten dollars a month two get the 30-year term product for a quarter million dollars in coverage for herself and put the 100 dollars a month permanent policy on her daughter to make her a millionaire three see how much she could start putting away into her own permanent policy on herself and get her daughter the 100 a month permanent policy to grow both those cash accounts and don't forget she could always do nothing and hope nothing happens i know well we can't wait to see what you think would probably be the best thing to do next and if you can see yourself doing something like this i think we're going to be able to help you too You've been playing Make Your Child a Millionaire. Created using Powtoon.